All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to use the epsilon delta definition of a limit to show that the limit as x goes to 2 of x cubed equals 8. Just to show you that epsilon delta can be quite a lot of fun. And let me remind you what does epsilon delta say. It says that for all epsilon, there is delta such that If, um, so that for all x, if you'd like, if uh, x minus 2 is less than delta, and if you want, x is not equal to, then in this case, x cubed minus 8 is less than epsilon. Again, no matter how small the error, you can find some threshold such that if x is close enough to 2 within that threshold, then x cubed is as close to 8 as we want, because epsilon can be as small as we want. And again, there are two steps here. So step one, which is finding delta. Again, like finding Nemo, but for delta. And uh, it seems a bit paradoxical, but you start with this and try to fish out some delta. Huh, fish out, okay, like Nemo. And, uh, um, and it seems paradoxical, as I said, but uh, in the end, we'll do the correct proof. So step one, think of it as scratch work. So let's start with x cubed minus 8. Well, notice that's the same thing as x cubed minus 2 cubed, okay? And, well, what we have here is a difference of cubes. And for this, we need to use a mean algebra formula, okay? Which is a cubed minus b cubed. It's a minus b times a squared plus b squared plus ab plus b squared. And you can simply get that by expanding out this part, and you find some beautiful simplifications. And why is that useful? Because now this becomes x minus 2 times x squared plus x times 2 plus 2 squared, which becomes x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And careful, this is not a square. This is not x squared plus 4x plus 4, which then we could write down. It's almost what kind of the evil twin brother. However, this is very good because remember, we have control over x minus 2. We know it is less than delta. So really, all we still need to do is control this term here. And in particular, what we would like to show is that kind of becomes constant in some sense. So, again, continuing our adventure, we get, by the triangle inequality, this is less than or equal to x minus 2 times absolute value of x squared plus absolute value of 2x plus absolute value of 4. So here we just use the fact that absolute value of a plus b plus c is less than or equal to all the absolute values. Okay. And, well, this basically becomes x minus 2 times, well, x squared is positive, and then 2 absolute value of x plus 4. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, this can be huge. Okay, think like x being a bajillion, right? Then you get a bajillion squared plus 2 bajillions plus 4, uh, whatever that means. And in particular, we cannot make it smaller than a constant. On the other hand, remember that x is actually very close to 2. So x is very close to 2. And in particular, it's safe to assume that the distance between x and 2 is less than 1. Because again, we just want x to be very close. So in particular, let's see what happens if we assume that x minus 2 
is less than 1. There is nothing special about the number 1. You could have chosen 2 or 3 or 10. All that we need is just a finite number that x minus 2 is close to. But then this gives us info about x. So if x is a distance of 1 away from 2, well, then it's definitely between 1 and 3. So x is somewhere between here. But again, if you want, you can write this as x minus 2 is between 1 and minus 1. And so x is between, so 2 plus 1, which is 3, and 1 plus 1, which is 1. In particular, the absolute value of x, so the magnitude of x, is at most 3. Because um, x is between 1 and 3. All right, and that's very good because now we can estimate all those things. So now let's go back to x minus 2. times x squared plus 2 absolute value of x plus 4. Okay. Now, well, uh, x squared is less than 9 because it's between 1 and 9. 1, x squared, and 9. So x squared definitely less than 9. So this thing definitely becomes less than or equal to x minus 2 times 9 plus 2 times 3 plus 4, and let's see, so 9 plus 6 is 15, plus 4 it's 19. So this becomes 19 times x minus 2. But in case you're still watching, good for you, uh, what, did, what, is less, what is equal to 9 times x minus 2? Well, it's x cubed minus 8. That is less than or equal to 19 uh, times x minus 2. And remember, this thing, we want this to be less than epsilon. So let's do a wanting inequality. We really want this to be less than epsilon. But then what this becomes, 19 times x minus 2 is less than epsilon. So x minus 2 is less than epsilon over 19. And this is our delta that we want. So we finally found Nemo, and then we can attack. So, all right, so we would like to let delta to be epsilon over 19, but remember, at some point, we also assumed that x minus uh, 2 is less than 1. So we actually need to choose delta to incorporate this fact. So. Step two, now let's do our actual proof. So let epsilon be given. And let delta not to be epsilon over 19 and not to be 1. You want it to be the smaller one of the two. So the minimum of epsilon over 19 and 1. So if let's say this is 1 and this is epsilon over 19, that would be your delta. But if this is 1, suppose for some reason epsilon is big, and this is epsilon over 19, then this is delta. So just the smaller one of the two, then if absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta, then, what do we get? If x is less than the minimum, then it's both less than epsilon over 19 and less than 1. Then what do we get? If x minus 2 is less than delta, then it is both less than epsilon over 19 and less than 1. That's why we had to choose the minimum. So then, what we get, we on the one hand get x minus 2 is less than 1, and remember that implied absolute value of x is less than 3, and x minus 2 is less than epsilon over 19. And therefore, going back to our proof, hence, x cubed 
minus 8. That becomes x minus 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 2x plus 4. Well, this becomes less than or equal less than or equal to x minus 2 times, again, an x squared plus 2 absolute value of x plus 4. But now we know this is less than or equal to x minus 2 times x squared was less than 9. Absolute value of x was less than 3 and then plus 4, and then at the end, I believe uh, we get 19. So this becomes x minus 2 times 19, but remember x minus 2 was less than epsilon over 19, and then times 19, and you're left with the victorious epsilon. Therefore, again, for all epsilon, if you choose delta to be the minimum of epsilon over 19 and 1, then if x minus 2 is less than delta, we have shown that x cubed minus 8 is less than epsilon. And therefore we're done and we can stay home happy. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.